Hey guys, this is Townie Simbuilds here back again with another community lot this time. Uh, with the rollout of the high school years expansion pack, I really wanted to finish my mall and get it ready for you guys because I think it'll offer a lot of fun and exciting gameplay. This mall has a lot of really cool stores that you guys just might recognize if you pay attention closely enough. And it's also got a semi-functioning food court that I think is really cool and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's hop on in and take a look at the Cypress Springs Mall. All right, and here we are with a full view of the Cypress Springs Mall. Um, as I mentioned, this mall is nestled in Willow Creek. I actually bulldozed the entire uh, history slash art museum to make way for this, but um, I do think it was worth it. I thought it was a great addition to the world because um, I know that with Get to Work, the Magnolia Promenade world is separate, so we don't have any native retail space in Willow Creek. Um, over here was a close-up of the kind of wraparound sidewalk I created. I really wanted to make this lot feel like it was part of the world. So you have that kind of nice seating area there with those modern lights. And then underneath we have a view of the first floor parking garage, uh, which I'm very familiar with, at least with malls here in the U.S. Going towards the back, we have two nice wraparound balconies. This is a great area if your sims are coming out of the movie theater or out of the food court, uh, just to grab a nice bite outside. And finally, this is the Lakeview side of the mall. Uh, pretty barren, but you can still see the details of the parking garage inside. At the top, I really love creating the skylight. I felt like it was a very um, realistic feature um, that I've seen in a lot of malls here. And the light actually shines down through all floors of the mall which I thought was really cool. Right now we're gonna check out the mall in different forms of lighting. That is the evening lighting followed by the nice um, night lighting there. Here's the mall in the morning. And finally back to my favorite, which is the afternoon where we can really see those details. And with that, let's go check out the inside. Starting off you guys, we have the parking garage that I mentioned. Uh, this was a pretty fun little place to make. I loaded it with as many uh, debug cars as I could find. And as you can see, this is kind of like a little driveway entrance from the main street. As we all know, we don't have working cars in The Sims 4, but as always, I really love to emulate that in my creations, just to keep that sense of realism going. So as you can see, there are plenty of parking spots. There's a lot of um, lighting for the garage, especially at night. And then moving over here, we actually have one of the entrances to the mall. We have these little uh, parking meters here for a nice touch and also a trash can there as well. And once you've paid your ticket, you can go up and enjoy the mall. With this first floor, there are a lot of really cool stores for you guys to check out. Uh, when I started this mall, I wanted to create a maximum of 10 different stores that your Sims could shop in. And starting us off is none other than the Apple Store. Um, as you can see, there is not really an Apple icon per se, but I thought this kind of medical heart sign work to kind of create that tech vibe. Uh, the store is very similar to that in real life with very white walls, white flooring, and these wooden tables where they display a lot of their different devices. Um, usually along the walls are the iMacs, which are like the Apple desktops, if you will. And then back here we have a kind of help center where you can also buy your devices. Now moving back over here, we actually have a store that I haven't been to in a very long time, and this is a Bath and Body Works. Now I see this store all the time at the mall and I don't remember what's exactly in there, but to my understanding, they sell a lot of shampoo, soaps, lotions, and other type of body care products. So I really tried to mimic the style and their awning and their wallpaper. Over here is kind of a center display that they usually have featuring maybe new products or new products to try out. And on the sides, I really wanted to incorporate these little sinks that they have. Now, I don't know if they still are available now, given the circumstances with COVID, um, but previously you could try out all of these cool products, uh, maybe like hand soaps, for example, and then like wash your hands with them to see how they feel. Over here is the front desk area, just to check out with your products. And yeah, that's pretty much my interpretation of Bath and Body Works. Moving over here is a small art gallery. Um, I don't know of any particular uh, chain companies that operate these in malls, but art galleries are fairly standard, um, so I try to create just that. Over here we have the front desk. There are some pamphlets about art or uh, where to view it, where to buy other forms of art. And a lot of the pieces in here are very modern and contemporary, just to fit with what is usually seen in these types of little galleries, which I thought was a really cool uh, detail. 
moving over here, we also have a Barnes & Noble. Um, if any of you are familiar with Barnes & Noble, usually they are a standalone store or they are part of a strip mall, but I really wanted to create a bookstore for this mall, so I figured that I would include it in here. You can kind of get a nice window view of some of the uh, best sellers on display, which was really cool. And the inside is kind of a mini tiny replica of, uh, of a Barnes & Noble in real life. So this stand would be more or less the place where they would advertise bestsellers and classics. And then here is a little children's literature section here as well. Towards the edges, you can see a lot of different posters. I know that they have a lot of art there, sometimes denoting different genres or different sections. And then we also have uh, two different checkout counters on each side. Moving over here, we have some public restrooms, which are of course absolutely necessary for your Sims. Um, I split them up to a male and female side, but if you want something more gender neutral, you can definitely change that uh, for your Sims. Going over here, um, I have seen a lot of this store. I don't know exactly what they're called, uh, but this is pretty much an Asian souvenir store. So you can see some really interesting um, items that your Sim can buy for their home. We have some Japanese screens. We have some, uh, I think they're called Chinese money trees, some cool panda sculptures, um, some stuff for a spa treatment, I guess, and also some little mini uh, Zen gardens there as well. So just a really cool, interesting shop that I thought would be a great, a great fit for the mall. And finally, we have a little perfume shop. I don't really know of any big um, brands that operate these because I think these are more independently owned. But you can see a lot of the items here with gift presents, with some perfumes, maybe some makeup. Um, another sweet little boutique type of shop, if you will. And then coming back out, we have a look at the grand staircase heading to the second floor. Heading up to the second floor now, we have a lot more interesting stores that you guys will definitely uh, recognize once you take a look at them. And also a view of the big food court area. You can see that the stairs kind of split up and lead to this area. And it was very fun to create, but also very challenging. Um, originally, I had to use the food stalls that came with The Sims 4, but as many of you may know, you have to hire an NPC. Um, each time you want to be served from the food stall. So instead, I actually had my five-star chef, Zach, prepare us some really nice preloaded meals. Each of these stalls has a different type of food. So right here, we had a bakery. We also had some Italian food. And on this side, we have um, Asian-inspired food in this booth, mainly from Japan, Korea, and China. And then to the left, we had another booth which featured uh, Latin American food, mainly from Mexico and uh, Brazil specifically. Going inside, we see that there are mini kitchens, again, to kind of emulate that real life feel. Maybe see people preparing your food behind the counter. Just a really nice uh, little detail there. Looking out, there are also some vending machines if that is a faster option. Uh, so I definitely want to include those. And then as a quick note, I did add a lot of speakers throughout the lot. So if you ever feel like you want to add some cool music or add some um, music specifically to each of the stores, uh, they're really useful with that. Over here is a look at one of my favorite stores, which is Hollister. Um, you guys probably recognize the facade. It's got this weird kind of like beach house pagoda vibe. And as a kid, I used to love going to the store because I was like, whoa, like, I'm going inside this cool little like California hotel where the cool kids are. <laughs> it's really, it's really silly. But um, lo and behold, I end up being quite a fan of the store myself as a teenager and young adult. So you can see how the store split up from like masculine and feminine side. We have some nice dressing rooms on each side. And then finally the checkout counter uh, featuring some cologne for sale as well. Turning back around is another one of my favorite stores, which some of you may not know, uh, but this is my version of Express. Express is a very modern, higher end clothing store, and they sell a lot of really nice stuff for if you're going out to maybe a party, or maybe you wanna look very nice as a business professional. They have a really nice selection of clothes there. Uh, the interior, um, just like Express itself, aims to be very modern, clean, sleek. There's a lot of black, white, and red, which I try to emulate. And we also have that, that split with the masculine and feminine side, just like the way Hollister was. We do have some dressing rooms here, and we do have the front desk with more perfume and cologne for your Sims. 
Moving out, this is a athletic store. Now I didn't really have any specific inspiration, so I pulled from places like Nike, Adidas, Puma, Foot Locker, and it is just that. You have a lot of footwear here in the corner of the store. Um, but moving over here, we do have more casual wear, more athletic wear, um, just to fit the theme of the store. This store also has a little uh, checkout counter with some nice mirrors in the background. And then we do have one dressing room to the side um, if you want to try on some clothes there. Finishing the stores off is none other than Hot Topic. Hot Topic is always at the mall, um, but it's had quite a evolution. It's definitely a store that catered to the alternative folk, the alternative brand. Um, but nowadays it does look a little more industrial with the rebrand. I tried my best to like emulate the punk emo feel that I know was popular when I was a teenager, but you're more than welcome to update those mannequins accordingly. Going inside, there are some comic book racks. I included a lot of more um, cool clothes at the top and also a lot of these cool little figurines that you can buy. And then just looking around, there are a lot of fun posters and also the graffiti just to really enhance that feel of Hot Topic. Towards the back is probably my favorite feature, which shows a lot of graphic tees. Now, this display pretty much mirrors that in real life where they usually have framed versions of the shirts themselves, so you can easily see um, what you're buying without having to pick up every individual t-shirt, if you will. Topping off is the third floor Cineplex, which was a lot of fun to build and also features a lot of cool realistic details. Moving over here, we can see the staircase that leads up from the second floor from the food court. Moving over here, we have the kind of ticket area where you go and pick up your movie ticket. Usually there would be screens with some of the movie titles playing, so I tried to emulate that the best I could. And I really love this kind of like neon lighting that you can see in the nighttime view. So we got some nice desks there. There are computers that are kind of nestled back. And this room is fairly simple. I'll show you it in just a second. But um, yeah, if you want to kind of emulate that experience of operating the movie theater, there is this space for that as well. Going back around, there's also another part of the movie theater, and this is the snack booth. It kind of mirrors the style of the food court, and just like the food court, I've also preloaded the um, display with some really interesting and fun snacks. I know that there are hamburgers, hot dogs, tacos, and some other treats for your Sims as well. Here's just a quick peek at the little uh, kitchen kind of nestled in there, uh, just again for more realism's sake. And then coming back out, we make our way to the movie screening rooms. This is a view of the hallway, which I thought was super cool with all the different movie posters lit up. We do have a view of the skylight, um, and above us we see the true skylight from the exterior. So you can see that nice source of light kind of beaming through and hitting all levels of the mall. And finally, going in through here, we have the movie screening rooms which are pretty traditional, I would think. Um, there's a nice like red carpet, some nice red curtains on the side. And I also did a kind of split level, so your Sims can either go towards the very front area close to the TV or even a little farther back. Um, either way, there are some nice lights in the flooring to guide your Sims there. And looking outside, they're pretty much all the same, so I won't go into each and every one, uh, but you can get a good idea of how everything looks. So looking at this lot as a whole, this is a 40 by 30 lot. Um, as you can see, this was originally designed for Willow Creek, but Magnolia Promenade also has a 40 by 30 lot if you wish to move the mall there instead. The lot type is set to retail. This is obviously the preferred lot type if you want to have that retail functionality. And you can either have your favorite sim run it, or you can let the mall pretty much run itself. In terms of packs, it's not too intensive. Um, we do have a lot of stuff from base game, but we also utilize stuff from get to work, get together, and seasons. There are also some light fixtures that are found from the holiday celebration pack, but thankfully that pack is in fact free, so there is no need to worry in that regard. Alright guys, so that is it on the Cypress Springs Mall. As always, I really love hearing your thoughts and feedback on this lot. And given that high school years is now out, I really hope that this can be a really fun place for your teams to hang out. Maybe you can take advantage of that really cool uh, thrift store feature, maybe take advantage of Trendy. I'd love to see how you guys incorporate all those new features in the slot. 
obviously if you don't have high school years you can still have a really great time you know bring your favorite family your favorite couple um, whatever you bring to the mall i hope it's a really fun realistic retail experience for you all and with that this is townie sim builds signing out thanks so much for watching guys